hey, how's it going? Uh, thank you for joining me for In Song and Story, season two, episode number 15. It, it is January the 20th and 2021. And we have, as I speak to you, as I record it, there's a new president in the White House. So we've got the American flags behind me. A great occasion for America. It's always a great occasion. Uh, when we have the pomp and ceremony, I love the pomp and ceremony. So no matter how you voted or how you didn't vote, there's a new man in the White House and let's, let's cheer him on and hope everything goes good. In deference to that fact, uh, the three songs tonight that I've chosen, two are considered to be American classics and the third speaks to the Irish immigration story here in America. The very first song, I was just going over it a little bit there, but when when we switched on, was written by Woody Guthrie. Woody Guthrie, of course, is very, very famous, considered one of the most famous of the uh, Western folk singers back in the 1900s. And uh, he was born in Oklahoma in 1912. He died in New York City in 1967. His album, The Dust Bowl Ballad, about the American lifestyle, was considered one of the 100 albums that changed the world and he wrote this particular song this land is your land he wrote it in february of 1940 and apparently as the story goes he wrote this because he was fed up listening to god bless america and he thought that was a little bit too highfalutin and he wanted to write something a little bit more simplistic what people don't know is that he did not write the melody of this particular song I always thought he did, but he didn't. The melody is was first recorded by the first family of country music, A.P. Carter and the Carter family. And it was recorded, I think, in 1930. Uh, it was recorded under the title, When the World's on Fire, which in itself may have been an older Baptist spiritual song um, called, I mean, what was it called? Um, My Loving my loving brother I think my loving brother but you can still find on youtube the carter family ap and the carter family singing uh, when the world's on fire and as this land is your land as a song this was recorded by everybody from dolly parton to bruce springsteen to um mary De j blige and today uh, as part of the uh, ceremony uh, up on the capitol steps it was performed by J-Lo, so, so there you go. But for tonight's purpose, we'll do a very simple version of This Land Is Your Land. As I was walking the ribbon of highway, I saw above me an endless skyway. I saw below me a golden valley. This land was made for you and me This land is your land This land is my land From California To the New York Island From the Redwood Forest To the Gulf Stream waters This land was made for you and me I've roamed and rambled Followed my footsteps the sparkling sands of our diamond deserts and all around me a voice was sounding this land was made for you and me this land is your land this land is my land from California to the New York Island from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters this land was made for you and me The sun comes shining As I was strolling The wheat fields waving Clouds rolling, 
The fog was lifting, a voice was chanting This land was made for you and me This land is your land, this land is my land From California to the New York Islands From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream water this land was made for you and me This land is your land This land is my land From California To the New York Island From the Redwood Forest To the Gulf Stream waters This land was made for you and me This land was made for you and me Classic. This land is your land, and uh, anyway, it's nice to be here tonight. It's just nice to be here. Put on a shirt and tie. Got a little glass of vino. So much for the New Year's resolution out the window. Mm. So the second song was written, uh, I think, back in the early '80s by Luca Bloom and recorded by his brother Christy Moore. Luca Bloom, Bloom was born in. Uh, Newbridge in County Kildare in 1955. He's well recognised in the acoustic world. And uh, one of his big albums called The Acoustic Motorbike, I think. But, so his brother Christy uh, recorded this particular song. And again, it speaks to the Irish uh, emigration or immigration story, um, depending whether you're in Ireland or you're in America. <coughs> Apparently, a lot of people from the northwest of the island in County Donegal ended up in the Midwest uh, part of the United States. And there was a, a huge influx of Irish into this country after the great hunger, uh, the potato blight of, uh, of the years 1845 to 1849. Um, so this is a song kind of in, in that, written in that period. It's called The City of Chicago. <laughs> city of Chicago As the evening shadows fall There are people dreaming Of the hills of Donegal 1847 was the year it all began Deadly pains of hunger drove a million from the land Journey not for glory, the motive was in greed, a voyage of survival across the stormy sea. In the city of Chicago, as the evening shadows fall, there are people dreaming of the hill. Some of them your fortune, some of them your fame, more of them your hardship, and they died upon the plains. Spread throughout this nation, they rode the railroad cars, brought their songs and music for to ease their lonely. Journey not for glory, 
Their motive wasn't greed A voyage of survival Across the stormy sea To the city of Chicago As the evening shadows fall There are people dreaming Of the hills of Donegal there are people dreaming of the hills of Donegal. City of Chicago, a wonderful song written by Luca Bloom. So I will leave you. I will leave you this evening, and uh, thank you for joining me. Thank you for supporting as we go on. Um, looks like really the light. We're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, which is a wonderful thing with the vaccines and everything. Although it's still, uh, it's still kind of sad in Ireland to see that the lockdown is still uh, ongoing. But you know what? It'll it'll all work out. And uh, the people on on the uh, on my favourite Facebook page is Drada down memory lane or Drada down memory lane. Some fabulous photographs have been posted in the last few days. So if you get a chance to go on that web uh, that uh, Facebook page, have a look. Drada down memory lane. Just beautiful, beautiful photographs of my hometown. Going to finish off with. Uh, a song written by Stephen Foster, who was born in Pennsylvania in 1826. He died in New York City in 1864. He is known as the father of American music. And he's considered the most famous songwriter of the 19th century. He wrote parlor songs. And he was affiliated with the Christie Minstrels. Uh, he wrote the old, My Old Kentucky Home, which is, of course, the, the song that's that song at the Kentucky Derby, Derby every year. It's the state song for Kentucky. He wrote Old Folks at Home, which is a state song for Florida. The lyrics have been amended, of course, in, in the sensitive age. He wrote uh, Oh Susanna, which is popular during the uh, California Gold Rush. Um, but kind of a private, uh, private man. And the last four years of his life he spent in and around New York City. There's very, very little known about him. Um, apparently he fell in his hotel in the Bowery in New York City in January of 1864. Three days later, he died uh, in Bellevue Hospital in New York. He was 37 years old. Apparently he had some kind of a cut uh, on his neck uh, uh, after the fall. There is... A school of thought to suggest that he may it may have been self-inflicted, but we don't know. Anyway, um, Stephen Foster music is fantastic music. My dad used to like his songs. This is called uh, "Hard Times Come Again No More," which is something we all hope and pray for as the year moves on. Thank you again for joining me this evening, and uh, stay safe out there. And uh, God bless you, one and all. Slauncha. I'll be here again next week. We'll keep it going for another while and just see what happens. But... Let us pause in life's pleasures and count its many tears while we all sub sorrow with the poor. There's a song that will linger forever in our ears. Oh, hard times come again no more. There's a pale dripping maiden who toils her life away with a worn heart whose better days are born. Though her voice may be merry to sighing all the day, Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis a song, the sigh of the weary. Hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. Oh, hard times come again no more. Seek mirth and beauty and music.
music light and gay There are frail forms fainting at the door Though the voices are silent Their pleading looks still say Oh, hard times come again no more Tis a song, a sigh of the weary Hard times, hard times come again no more Many days you have lingered around my cabin door Oh, hard times come again no more That is wafted across the troubled wave Tis a wail a turd upon the shore Tis a dirge that is murmured around the lowly grave Oh, hard times come again no more Tis a song, a sigh of the weary Hard times, hard times Come again no more Many days you have lingered Around my cabin door Oh, hard times Come again no more Tis a song, a sigh Of the weary Hard times, hard times Come again no more Many days you have lingered Come again no more Oh, hard times Come again no more From the writing of Stephen Foster Good night and God bless